guys and welcome back to my channel and thanks for stopping by and watching. First of all, sorry for answering your comments and questions late and also the late upload. I've had internet problems and have been away for a few days. This tutorial is a lot longer than I normally do, but I hope you will still enjoy watching and learning. So I've put it into chapters and times, you can find them in the description box below. So this is a 12 spray paint art video in the beginners tutorial series. And in this one I'm going to be showing you how to add different trees using different paint brushes and a sponge. I'll also be showing you how to add bushes to your paintings by using a sponge. I'll be using the same glossy card which is A3 in size and the same spray paint as the previous tutorials in the series which is Montana White. If you are new to this series you can find the previous tutorials in the series here in the cards or in the description box below. So I hope you all enjoy watching and find this tutorial helpful and if so give it a thumbs up and please share with your friends and family or anyone that you think may be interested in learning this form of art. And also if you're a new visitor to my channel and like what you see then please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future spray paint art videos. It would be very much appreciated. Right then the first thing we're going to do is the sky. All I'll be doing for this is spraying it black then misting some white over it. So we'll get the black first and we'll spray over the top 3 inches or so. So with the black don't forget to give your cans a good shake before you spray them. So we'll do about that much. Then with the white we'll add it over the black. You want to press the cap a bit lighter when you do this so you get more of a mist coming out instead of a block of colour. So we'll get the white, give that a good shake first. And we're just going to mist it over the top. Then with the black we'll just go over a bit of the white, just a case of building it up now. And a bit more white. done for now we'll move on to the next part. For this part you'll need a spare piece of card so we can add some mountains into the background. All I'll be doing is ripping the card by hand to make some mountain shapes as these are in the distance they don't need much detail in them. So you want a piece of card like this just make sure it's bigger than the paper you're using to spray on and all we're going to do is rip some mountain shapes in it. This is just the same card that I'm using to spray on. So I'll sign this corner and all we're going to do is rip some mountain shapes out of it. Just some rough shapes. A bit like when you make clouds. I'm going to do a high one here. I want to one side for now and we'll carry on. So 
you can always have a look and see if you want to rip any more out to make some different shapes. So I'll just add a bit here, just might rip a bit out, make another peak. I might just bring this over this way a bit. So you'll end up like something like this. Some rough mountain shapes. The scar should be dry enough now to place a card over it. So we'll lay the card on the painting where you misted the sky out. And with the black we'll add the mountains in. For this part you can either hold a stencil with your fingers or a pally knife or something like that as you move across filling them in. So we'll place the stencil over the mist area. Where you want your mountains to go. I'm going to have mine there. And then with the black, we'll just fill the mountains in. So hold them down as you spray. Now we're just filling the bottom like that. With the mountains done now, we'll just add some mist to the bottom of the mountains using the white. It's the same technique that we used in the sky. So we'll grab the white and just remember to spray the cap lightly as we do the mist. Gonna spray it here at the bottom. Gonna give it a quick one more. I've just given it a quick mist over the top of the mountains as well, as they're in the distance. So I'm just going to finish this sky off here now, right at the top, I'm just going to put a line of black to blacken it out a bit. Not much. Right, now with the mist added and the sky finished, we'll add the first set of trees. These are going to be in the distance at the bottom of the mountains. So with these all we'll be doing is using a paintbrush and moving it up and down as we move across the sheet. But before I add the trees I'm going to show you how much is left in the can after it stops spraying. Because I'm going to use that to paint the trees in this painting. So I've got a lid here to pour the paint in. And I've already took the top off the can. So I'm just going to pour the paint out of the can into the lid. So that's a paint out of a can and as you can see there's quite a bit of paint left in there so that might be enough paint to do all the trees in this painting. So I'll put this to one side for now so with that we'll go back to the trees. You want to use a flat brush for these, something like this one. So we'll be starting here and all you want to be doing is going up and down with a paintbrush and move across as you're doing it. Like that. So we'll get the paint that we just poured out of a can and a spare piece of card to take some of the paint off the paintbrush when we dip it in the paint. All I'm going to do is give it a quick stir up. And we're just going to go from this side across. So we're just going to go up 
and down and move across as we're doing it. Just to get some basic tree shapes that are in the distance. It's up and down and move across. small ones in and taller ones it's up to you how big you put the trees in here but don't forget they're in the distance so you don't want them that big you can always go over these again in places if you want or you could just do another row in front Just to darken them up a bit more. So you just remember to take some of the paint off your paintbrush beforehand. I should just get loads of big blobs. Just remember there's no rush when you're doing these or anything when you're painting just take your time enjoy while you're painting the only time to rush really is if you're doing it in front of a live crowd or something but if you're just doing it in your own time just take your time with things it's your painting enjoy while you're painting So you've got a row of trees there and like I said you can always have a look at it and go back and add some more so you could just put a few more high ones here and there if you want just look at your painting if you want to add some more add some more So what I'll do for the trees in the distance, I'll just move out of the way for a minute, over there. So once you have a look you are after, we'll get the black and spray under the tree to about this point. Then with the white we'll add a bit of mist to the bottom of the trees and the rest of the black we have just added. So we'll get the black spray paint, give it a bit of a shake. And we're just going to spray a bit of black underneath here and then down to about this point. So. Just press it lightly so you don't get a rock of paint out. And then we're going to go to about this line. going to mist it out just a bit of mist there at the bottom of the trees so we look us over in the distance 
and then the rest with a bit of mist on it. And if you do put too much white down, you can always go back over it with a bit of black. And then we can put a bit of white over the top of it again, just a case of building it up to where you like the look of it. And we'll move on to the next part of the painting where we'll be adding bigger trees. So the first thing to do is add a line where each tree is going. I'm going to be doing two trees on each side. One side I'll be using a flat brush and the other side I'll be using a fan brush to paint the trees. I'll be doing this side first and for this side I'll be using a flat brush. First I'll add the lines for the trees and then start filling in the branches, leaves starting at the top. For this you want to start with small branches at the top and as you move down make them wider with the widest branches at the bottom. So with the paint we got from a can and a flat brush we'll start putting the trees in. First we'll do a line where your trees are going to go. So I'm going to put One here, and one there, so I add the lines first for the trees so it gives me a guideline to where the other branches as I'm moving down the trees. So we'll start adding the branches in and the leaves. Just give this a bit of a mix up. And we'll start thin at the top. And as you move down, just get bigger and bigger. Just dabbing the brush on as you move from side to side. And then you have a tree shape. So as you're going down, just go bigger and bigger. Just dab it on. Doesn't matter if you go out off a of painting with one. And as we get to a bomb, it's it's wider and thicker at the bottom. So we'll move on to the next one. Start of a top, thin. Move from side to side. Don't 
don't rush when you're doing these trees, just take your time. Like I said before, you're not painting it live or nothing, so just take your time and enjoy it. So just dab your brush you know, from side to side. So as we get down here, as the two trees are joining, it'll get darker and darker. So. But you can, you'll come up with your own and faster ways of doing trees. But these are just some examples of what you could do when doing your trees. It's a bit of a slow way of doing it this way, but like I said, it's your painting, you put what you want in it. So there the tree's done with a flat brush. All I'm going to do to finish them off is just put a piece on the top. I'll put one on this side. Just before I move on to the next trees, you can just fill in the centres a bit more because these are going to be a bit thicker. So you can always have a look and then go back and add some into the middle here. Because that'll be the darkest part because that's where the trunk and that is. So all I do is just get on the brush and then just dab it round in places. And we'll do the same on the other, other one. So, it's more darker in the middle. So just get a bit of black paint and dab it in places. And as the trees, branches and that go more out, the more light will get through them. you can always step back and have a look at your trees and if you see something that you want to add you can always go back and add it now the trees are done using the flat brush we'll move on to the other side and add two trees using the fan brush it's the same process as we have just used to paint the other two, apart from we are using a different brush. So I'm going to be using this fan brush, and we'll be adding the two trees this side. So we're going to be using the same black paint from the tin. So we'll get some paint on and put the lines in first. Just give the paint a bit of a mix up. And then wipe it off the fan brush. Then we're going to add the lines in first. So we'll have one here. I'll have one here. Doesn't matter how thick your lines are when you're doing the trees. Because you'll be covering that up when you're doing the branches. 
So I'll move this over to this side. We'll start adding some branches. So remember, start thin first. As you move down, just go a bit wider and wider. paint as you can see already it's giving a different shape to the trees like I said on the other one just take your time as you're doing them there's no rush all I'm doing is moving side to side as I'm going down Just dabbing the brush on. And as we get down the barn, just get a bit thicker because it's darker down there and more branches than that. That's first one done. I'll move on to the second one. I've done this one a bit too close to that one. So I'm going to do this one a bit thinner, but I'm not as bushy. We'll start off small. Just as you move down, just get bigger and bigger. I could go faster while I'm doing this, but I just want to show you how to pull it, do the trees and that, and not rush, so you can see how I'm doing it. Because I think that's the best way of learning. If someone takes the time while showing others, then they seem to learn a bit better. And then can take it in and then can follow along as I'm doing it. So as we get to the bottom, just go a bit wider. Now it's more darker, remember. So we'll have these quite bushy now at the bottom. I did say I was going to do it thin, but it turned out bushy. Never mind. So here's the other one. We'll just fill in a bit in the middle. Where the trunk is and that, and the darker branches. So just tap along in the middle, darken it up. A bit too much paint on there, there. But a bit odd. Just 
do the same on the other one. It's up to you how much detail and how you put on your trees. You can either do them quick and fast, just the outline of them, so you get a rough shape of them, or, or add a bit more detail. It's entirely up to you how you do them in your painting. As these two are joined more at the bottom, I've just put a bit more black around the bottom. Bit of a chunk here. And just add a bit to the tops on these. Small. And just, just remember, like I said, you can step away from your painting and have a look. Just see if you want to add some more in. Just going to darken that up a bit more. And I'm just going to go back to the flat brush. I'm just going to darken a bit up here. A bit more. You don't have to do it, but I'm just going to darken it up around there at the bottom. A bit more. I'm going to bring them out a bit more, like that. Put a bit more of a chunk on them. So they're both sets of trees finished now. So they're the ones with a flat brush and they're the ones with a fan brush. I think both ways work well for making trees. You could use either way depending on what look you wanted in your painting. Now with the trees painted we'll fill the rest of the sheet black and then we'll spray a light coat of mist using the white over the trees and the black at the bottom. So we'll get the black, don't forget to give it a good shape. We're going to fill in the rest here at the bottom black. Doesn't matter about going to the trees. So that's the black done at the bottom. And then we're going to do a mist over the trees, a bit of a light mist over the trees. And on the bottom where we've just painted black, to give the white a shake. So, just put that to one side so we don't get any white paint in it. So we'll do the bottom first. See, it's spitting a bit, so I'm going to clean the cap. Get rid of some of this paint, so just use a craft knife, scrape it off a bit, and then just flicking your wrist to give it a mist. done we'll be adding one more tree which will be in the middle of a painting for this we'll be using a flat brush and a sponge first we'll add the trunk and the branches using black so I'll get the paint that we poured out of a can earlier give it a mix up I'm going to use a thicker flat brush to do the base of the tree the trunk 
So get some paint on, wipe it off. I'm gonna have a tree here in the middle somewhere. So just do a basic shape. Like I said, there's no rush when you're doing this. Just take your time. I'm going to have a big wide tree here. Not very tall, but an old wide tree, I think. One branch there that comes off. One there, I'm gonna have one in the middle, I think. Might even have a low branch just coming off there and I'll put one on the other side so I'm going to put a flat brush down now and I'm going to move back to a small thin one we used to paint these trees in the distance I'm just going to put some smaller branches on it's just going to give you a guidance of where you're going to use your sponge to do your leaves on your tree. So the paint is getting a bit thick now as it's drying out. Some branches sprouting off from the main ones. Just don't forget to wipe the ex excess paint off before you put it on. You have big blobs. just keep adding some branches most of these branches will be covered I'm just doing this as a guide like I said before to where I'm going to use the sponge see with the paint drying out it's, it's thick now I'm just going to get some clear coat I'm going to add it to the paint to try and wet it back up a bit. So I'll give this a bit of a mix up. So the paint's not as thick now. So it's more runny, the paint is. So it should be able to go on the paper a lot better. So now I've added some clear coat to it. We'll see how it comes out. See, it's a lot it's a lot easier to paint with now, runnier. I'm just going to do a few more branches and then I'll um, start using a sponge to add some leaves in.
See the difference you made adding the clear coat to wet the paint back up. It's not as thick now so the paint goes on a lot better. So if you're ever doing it this way and your paint starts drying up, just add a bit of clear coat to it and then that wets the paint back up so it's easy to work with. Now we've added the trunk and branches we'll add some leaves using the sponge. The first colour we'll add is black so get your sponge and dip it into the black and dab it onto the tree where you want your leaves. So I'm going to be using a sponge like this and all I'm going to be doing is ripping some off it and then I'm just going to just wrap it up on itself like that get like a shape and then I'm going to just dab it on the painting so you end up something like this and we'll get the black we've been using and dip it in dip it into the black and then for this you could always have a spare piece of card and then if you put too much paint on just dab a bit on before you put it onto your sheet it's up to you so with the sponge and the black on it all we're going to do is where we put the branches is we're just going to dab the black on with the sponge just dab it round on your tree so go back get some more and then just go back and dab it Dab it on where you want your leaves on. It's up to you how much black you put on. Like I said, you can stand away from the painting, have a look, and if you want to add some more, just add some more. So I'll put some branches down here, so I'll add some there and a bit there. Put a bit there on it like that. So just have a look at it, step back a bit. I'm just gonna fill that in like that. I think I'm just gonna add a bit more on this side.
not much just bring it out a bit the bottom so now we've added the black using the sponge we'll get some green I'm going to be using grass green for this and dip the sponge into it you can either use the same sponge you have used for the black or use a clean one it's up to you so with a spare piece of card we'll get the green and we'll just spray some on here so that's the green I'm going to use the same sponge as I put the black on as I want this green to be darker than the next layer I'm going to add about four layers to this tree so with your sponge dip it in Now we're just going to go over black. You can leave some of the black behind it. So just press down, dab it on. In the places where you put the black. Just add a bit here in the middle. Now with the green added, we'll get the white and mix it with the green to make a lighter shade of green for the next layer. So I'll just add a bit more green to the card. bit of white I'm going to use a fresh piece of sponge for this one and then roll it around getting your fingers so you have something like this and I'm just going to mix it up with a sponge so it's a bit lighter I'm just going to dab it in places. No, right. so still keeping the green underneath. So I'll just take a bit off there. A bit too much paint on it. So. So just dab it lightly in places. Just remember you can step back, have a look.
So that's the next layer done and for the last layer I'm just going to add a little yellow for some highlights on the tree. So we have another piece of card. So we're going to get a bit of yellow and spray it on. So I'll just put that there. I'm going to use the same sponge that I just used to put the light green on. So all you want is a bit on your sponge, like that. And then you can just... So I'll add a bit more onto it. Then just dab it down. So you can see the green coming through if you don't put a bit on. So I'm just going to add tiny spots here in places. Just lightly press it, part of a tree. See, one dip of the yellow should do. So you don't want to put too much on. You can use whichever colours you want when you're doing your tree. Just step back and have a look. If you want, just add a bit more. Just add a bit more here in the middle. Maybe a bit there. So that'll do for the yellow highlights. With that done, the trees are finished now and we'll move on to adding some bushes at the bottom. The process for doing bushes is the same as we've just used to do the leaves on the last tree. So first of all, we'll get with black spray paint and we're just going to spray a bit of black here at the bottom. sponge because I put green on the other sponge but I had the black on so I'll just move this over to there a minute we're just going to put some shapes with a sponge so this black is almost dry again now should be all right just to do the bushes Just do some bush shapes. We'll have them in front of a tree as well. So having it so like it's a hedge or something in front of it. So that's a black done. I'll get the green. I'll use a spare piece of card. Spray some more green. Put that out of the way. Put that one there. 
Remember, just screw it all around your fingers, something like that, so you can make a texture. Then we'll go over the black with a green. Just dabbing it. So you can if you can always change the way you hold your sponge. So then it comes out differently. So as we get close to the bottom, just put a bit less on, because it's darker. we'll add the next layer so a bit of green a bit of white so you, if you've only just got one green or one color you can always add white or a lighter color to make the color lighter to give you different shades So I've added a bit too much white in there. So you can always change it again. Just add a bit more green. Darken it back up a bit. Just get a bit of this paint off. There's quite a bit on there after mixing it. And we'll just go over just move that round a bit get some different texture So just dab it a bit lighter. So remember you want to keep some of the darker green underneath because that's darker. As we move down to the bottom of like the hedge or bushes, it'd be darker. So leave that with a darker green on it. With that one done, we can just add a bit of yellow in places, just just a tiny bit of yellow like we did on the tree, or you can use a different colour, it's up to you. So I've just get a bit of yellow on my sponge, a bit dry eyes, I'll just add a bit more. I'm gonna do it is just slightly slightly dab it in places so 
so just lightly in places I don't want too much yellow on it or too much highlight Just remember what I said, you can step back, have a look, and if you want to add more, you can. Just, you could have a, just a tiny bit there, just showing through as a highlight from the dark. Could just bring a bit here as well, not too much, just a few dots. So that's the highlights done on the bushes. So I'm just going to move these out the way. So there the bushes done using the sponge. So just remember, start with your darkest colour first. And work up to your lightest colour and use that as your highlights. So now with the painting finished, I'm just going to give it a quick clear coat. It's the same clear coat that I've used in previous tutorials. So I'm just going to start the bomb and go from side to side and work, work my way up. done there's one last thing to do now and that is to sign your painting and it's finished so grab your pally knife or whatever you're using to sign your work with and sign it I'm going to sign it here in this corner so with me pally knife so I hope you enjoyed learning and found this spray paint art tutorial helpful and if so give it a thumbs up and please share with your friends and family or anyone that you think may be interested in learning this form of art and also, if you're a new visitor to my channel and like what you saw, then please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future videos in the series. It'd be very much appreciated. Also, coming up in the next tutorial video in the series, I'll be showing you how to put rings around your planets using three different techniques. So you'll need for this tutorial something to spray on like gloss card or canvas or whatever you're using to spray on. You're going to need black and white spray paint and the choice of colours. Just make sure they're all the same make as some makes of spray paint may react with each other. Something to make texture with for your planets like a carrier grocery bag, magazine paper plastic sheets etc something to sign your work with like a pally knife or whatever you're using to sign your painting you're going to need a mask and some gloves you're going to need three lid stencils three different sizes for your planets you're going to need a metal scraper a pencil and a craft knife. You're also going to need a few pieces of spare card. And if you have any questions or want to know something, just leave me a comment below and I'll be happy to help. So once again, thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope to see you all in the next spray paint art video. Have a great day, take care and bye for now.